Hey guys, my name is Deb Marnie and I'm from Aussie Mail. Welcome to our Chainmail tutorial channel. Hey guys, a big hi, hello, how are you? I'm so pleased to see you here today. Thanks for popping in and spending some time with me. So today I have got a weave demonstration for you. And the weave we'll be doing today is called Cross-Eyed Persian. All right, guys, let's jump straight into it. Okay, so here's some sample pieces that I have done up for you uh, of the cross-eyed Persian weave. Uh, now, coming up on the screen will also be the ring sizes I used, as well as being listed down below in the description section. But I will just go over this quickly with you as well. So over here is our 14 gauge AWG 1.6 millimeter diameter wire. And the ring ID I used here was uh, nine millimeters. The 1.2 millimeter wire ring ID of seven. One millimeter wire ring ID is 5.75. And the 0 0.8 millimeter wire, 4.5 millimeter ID rings. So I'll give you a look at this particular one with the weave. So this is what a close-up of the weave looks like. So you can see we've got on two sides, we've got the middle rings doing the standard Persian thing. And then on the other two sides, you can see that they are interlocking, that they've crossed over. So on those two sides there. Now on male artisans, it didn't specify which way to do the interlocking weave uh, rings. So I found that you could do them both ways. So you can see, i show you this here. You can see we've got these ones interlocking this way and then those ones are interlocking the other way. And then I did a section of chain that alternated which way the rings interlocked. So it wasn't specified on male artisans which way to um, to do them. I'll show you how to do this this first one here, but it's just uh, if you want the different look, just a matter of um, doing your interlocking weaves um, in a different direction. Um, but yeah, I quite like the alternating look. I think that looks fabulous. But for today's purposes, I'm just going to do this particular view, which looked to be the view that was on the Male Artisans website. Okay, so to start this weave, we're going to take two of our rings and close them up. And then I'm going to take up a twist tie. You can use a piece of wire, a paper clip, just something that will hold on to these two initial starting rings for you. And then through those rings, we're going to pop one of our opened rings. And then for the next one, we're going to Mobius the next ring. So to do this, I'm going to go through the front of my eye here. Okay, so straight through like that. And that gives me that initial laying of the rings. Okay, so we're looking at these interlocking rings. If I go through the front, they're going to lay like this. If I decide I want to come through the back, let me just pick up my pliers, come through the back of the weave, come through this way, that changes the direction of that interlocking ring and it looks like this version down here. So you can see here, the bottom ring is the one that sits over the top. This one, the top ring sits over the top of the bottom ring. So the top of the weave here sits over the bottom ring. Here, the bottom ring sits over the top of the top ring. So that's the difference. So I'm just going to go through the front I just find it easier to do it that way. And uh, you just go straight through the front like that. 
Mobising the ring that's already in weave and we close that up. Okay. Then we take up another ring and go through our Mobius pair of rings. Okay. And we double that ring up. So we put another one straight through the Mobius or the interlocked rings. Okay. Can't seem to get a good closure. There we go. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to flip those rings back like I would if we were doing like a Byzantine. Okay. And we want to just hold them in place there like that. Don't let them flop all the way down because we do need to access them. So just fold them back just like you were doing Byzantine. Take up another one of your rings. And this time we want to separate out the Mobius rings, which are the ones on the top. So we separate those out and we pick up those two rings that we flipped back. Okay. Can you see that? So we've just separated the Mobius rings picked up the two rings that we flipped back. Now it's a little loose at this stage, but it will tighten up. You don't need to worry about that. Okay, and then we wanna place another ring, but we wanna make this our Mobius ring. Okay, so just like we did before, we're going to come through the front of our work and pick up the Mobius ring, we're going to go through there and we're going to Mobius this ring. And we're going to close it. Okay. So our work looks like this at the moment. So it's still all a little bit loose right now, but we're going to start tightening it up very soon. Take up another open ring. We just pick up both of our Mobius rings. Now, before we close this though, we want to put our open ring through the previous rings below it. Okay, so I tip my work up a little bit and I just bring my ring down and I take it through the two rings previous. So just like I would when I do uh, full Persian six in one, um, so if this is confusing you and the Mobius rings is making it a little harder to understand, I will put a link up here for a normal full Persian 6 and 1 tutorial. Go check that out, see how I uh, do that. But there you go, we've got one ring in place there. You can see this is now starting to lock everything into place and make it a little bit more stable. So we just want to do that same manoeuvre on the opposite side. So we go through our top pair of rings here, the rings that we mobiest, we're going to flip our work up so that we can see the rings, the interlocked rings underneath, the previous pair, and we're going to feed our opened ring through both of those rings and then close it up. Okay. And this is what our work looks like. And we just continue on. So take up another open ring. Again, separate out that interlocked pair there at the top. Go straight through and pick up the two rings that it exposes. We're going to close that up. Then we're going to take up another open ring. This time we're going to Mobius our ring. So we're going to go straight through here, our two rings here in the middle, and we're going to make sure that we also go through the ring that we just placed, okay? So just straight through there. Okay, just make sure you pick up the three rings and you close that up. Okay, your next ring goes through the two rings that you just placed through both of them but before we close it we tip our work up and we also feed it through the previous two rings in our weave okay close that up and 
and we repeat that on the other side. So again, we go through our two rings that we just mobiused. Before closing, we lift our work up and we bring our ring down so it goes through the two rings previous in our weave. Okay, and close it up. So this is what our work is looking like. So you can see here that the profile of this weave is a little more rectangular. Full Persian is a round weave, but with this cross-eyed Persian, you get more of a rectangular type, off-center type look. This is the profile rather than the round profile that a full Persian weave will give you. Okay, so just to show you once more, take up an open ring, separate out our Immobius rings or our interlocked rings on the top there, pick up those two rings underneath, close it up. Okay, we want to Mobius the next ring. So to do that, we pick up those two rings underneath there, those same two rings as we did before, but this time we also pick up the ring that we just placed. Okay, so we've picked up three rings in total and we close that up. Our next ring, to finish off this section, we put through our Mobius ring, but before we close it, we also put it through a pair of Mobius rings in the previous unit. And we close that up. And then we do the same to the other side. Okay, and that is what our work looks like. So just to give you a quick demo on what it looks like going the other way, I'm going to put my place my first of what will be my Mobius rings in the center there. Okay, this time, instead of going through the front like I did before, I'm gonna come through the back and I'm going to pick it up this way, okay? So this time I'm pretty much coming through the ring first and then through those second rings down there. Close that up. So that's the only difference. The next step is exactly the same. We take up one of our new rings, we feed it through our Mobius ring but before we close it, remember we come down and we pick up the previous pair of rings in our weave and we close that up. And then we place another ring on the other side just to finish that unit up. Okay, so you can see the variation in the layering of the rings happening now. This one here, our bottom ring sits on top of our top ring. This one where I came in at a different angle, our top ring is now sitting on top of our bottom ring. Okay, so as I said, you can do an alternating cross eye, which looks fabulous, I think, I quite like it. So you do one each way or you can do either way. As I said, the Listing on Mail Artisans didn't specify. Uh, the image looks to be this way, but you can certainly do it both ways. All right, guys, that is the tutorial today. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, that you've added yet another stunning weave to your repertoire. If you did enjoy the video, uh, give it a thumbs up here. Leave any comments or questions you may have down below and I will do my utmost best to get back to you in a timely manner. While you're here, don't forget to check out some of the videos that we've got. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber and click the link on our store where you'll be able to find all the bits and bobs and you know what's you're going to need to make up this a gorgeous weave and many of the others. All right, guys, thanks again for popping in, spending some time with us. 
and I hope that I will see you again sometime in the very near future. All right, bye.